and welcome to the weekend edition. I'm Dr. King Ori. We have a classic show lined up for you. One of our guests is a man of many hats. He's a fitness trainer, a professional boxer, a nutritionist, and has also worked as a bodyguard. Madam, this is one of the few people in the world who would mean it like you I'll catch a grenade for you. <laughs> 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 of course, Here to tell us all about fitness, mamboya food, nutrition, and how you're supposed to eat, my friend Jamil Zafa is in the house. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Asante ni sana. Uh, Jamil is basically Mayweather, calligraph, na uchumi ya Kenya in one person. <laughs> For real, anaweza kutandika uhame Nairobi. Now, also in studio, also in studio is a portrait photographer, a humanitarian currently working uh, on the climate change adaptation project with one of the biggest, if not the leading NGOs in the world. But that's not why we have her on the show tonight. We are interested in the fact that she is also a boxer. Portia Rosemary is in the house! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Asante ni sana na badu. This week, a uh, businesswoman, Huda Monroe, was on the spot over some comments she made about fat people. Uh, Huda, Huda aliona moto jua kuingilia wazito. And this is because <laughs> her, argument, her argument was, why is it okay to make fun of skinny people, but it's deemed an offense to attack the fat man? Our conversation as most of you have already guessed, is all about fitness and nutrition. So to complement our guest list, we also have a female fitness and yoga trainer. Michelle Mulala is in the house! <laughs> now, uh, our show tonight is all about fitness, and I, like I said, we are doing things differently. On set tonight, uh, welcome, please welcome our guests, Jamil, Portia, and Michelle. <laughs> Asante, 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 Asante sana. Jamil, Jamil has been trying to get me to go to the gym for the past, I think, seven months. Right? Uh, good luck with that. But uh, you for that. Uh, uh, Jamil uh, is a fitness trainer. Uh, umefanya martial arts. Uh, you've been a bodyguard. Uh, okay, what have you not done? <laughs> Let's start with that. Nini ujafanya bodyguard? Mimi, kuwa. Okay. I'm not killed. Okay. Yeah. You say it like it's something you're planning. It's <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah. In terms of expertise, unaza vawa tu wangapi? Like how many people can you... It depends them? if you're armed or not armed. You know, you can attack armed people differently and someone who's not armed differently. So when you're armed, like two of you, I yes. attack you differently. If you're not armed, three people, I can take them down. Michelle, fitness... Fitness, 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 Yamadem especially. Uh, I don't think you've dealt, you've been like this all your life. No, I was very skinny. I was 49 kilos five years ago. So, so hapa umenona yako yote? Hapa ni kumbele kabisa. Ukumbele kabisa. You would have said, yes, I information as far as how ladies can keep fit, nini nini, yeah. and everything. Alafu, all, all, on top of that, our third guest is Portia Rosemary. Portia, karibu sana. Sana. Ah, okay, Karibu sana. So as far as boxing, how, how long have you been doing that? Uh, just over a year. Mm, Before yes. that, fitness stuff for a few years. For the time that you've been training for boxing, are you in a relationship? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> as far as gym is concerned, yes. as far as fitness is concerned, you're also involved in nutrition, right? Yes. N must I do all those exercises? Is there something I can eat na nifude na nikuwe sawa? Uh, what people don't understand, Diet is 70% and then 30% is just the fitness. And you don't need to hit the gym for you to be fit. I would love to start an Aka experiment, simple sana. Uh, let's use Willis Raburu, for example. <laughs> <laughs> give, give, me, give, give, me, give me a simple routine to convert Willis Raburu into you. Uh, that is very... <laughs> it's very private, yes. And uh, I can say he's fit. What uh, it's happening is maybe he's not checking his diet because sometimes what happens, you train. <laughs> no, it's not personal. <laughs> <laughs> he's my friend, by the way. He's my friend. He's your friend? Yeah, yeah. And how are you a trainer? <laughs> <laughs> I'm No, 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 no. 
because of uh, different location in different time. And I believe he has so a trainer. So Willis Laburu is a victim of location. <laughs> Your location. T technically, take me through a routine. Yeah, someone, as in if, we, if Willis Laburu disappeared for some time and then to come back as you. Techn a technical routine. Uh, number one, I can say he'll go through a lot of punishment because losing weight is not easy as people assume, just eating and whatever. You can diet very well, you can train very well, but there's one thing that will fail you. One thing that fails you. Me? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Why Sleeping. would I want to? Uh? Sleeping. If you sleep enough, you'll be fat, more than wheelies. Ah. So even if you diet well and train well, you will never see the result. Sleeping is the only thing that can make you see the result. You see? If you want to become fat, you need to sleep. You want to lose weight, you need to sleep. You want to maintain, you need to sleep. So enough sleep is the result and medal for you. So now that we understand that Michelle's problem is lack of sleep. <laughs> I, I, as far as uh, what he says is concerned, yeah. uh, your pressure ya kukuwa kwa gym, like you have to train every day, mm -hmm. are you worried about not going to the gym and what would happen to you? Not really, no. I, I think uh, what, what bothers most of us ladies is we don't love ourselves enough. We try to fit in a society standard of how we should look. But if you really love yourself, like I was really skinny, like who is saying people who are skinny don't like to be called skinny, which is a fact. So, if you don't like being skinny, get to the gym, lift weights, yeah? Mm -hmm. And take care of your nutri nutrition. Eat on a calorie surplus. Yes. Don't just stay at home, say, oh, I'm so skinny. And also skinny people are not healthy people. You can be skinny and be so unhealthy. You, there are skinny people who have high cholesterol. Yes. Yeah? So, mm -hmm. you just have to love yourself enough to take mm -hmm. care of yourself. Because if you don't have your health, mm -hmm. what else is there, yeah? Portia, as far as boxing is concerned, like, where, where do you get uh, kama power to fight from? Because, okay, I don't know how to phrase this, but uh, I believe you need a lot of gusto and power. What kind of training does that come with? When you have a trainer training you, yes. um, it's also about the mental power that comes, which then gives you the physical power. Okay. Because you're being told, go harder, train harder, pushing you to your limits. Okay. And then that forces you to... So I don't even have to go to the gym, then I ha just have to have a proper mental capacity. That, <laughs> I just that, need, that helps. I just need to think I can beat you, right? <laughs> no, you cannot. It's, I disagree. It's all, it's all in the mind. Uh, Not all. Some of it. There is a question that people ask me always, 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 and I think so is the right time to answer, I thank God. People ask me like, like this Mujengo people. They are fit because they are doing hard job. I'll answer this. They are not, but they are. Mm -hmm. They are not, but they are. How? Uh, what I mean by that is like, when you lift something and walking, you're just training specific body part. There's a reason why people hit the gym. But you see, Mkoko tiny people, they are fit. Another part. Boxing people, they are fit. Different part. Running people, they are fit. Different part, but so when you, you hit the gym, exercise for one body part, as in you tuned your way focus now. Yeah, but you'll be proportion. Takuaje Johnny Bravo. There's different kinds of gyming, right? Yes. Right. Yeah. What kind of gyming do you specify in? I'm a yoga teacher, and I'd like to say I'm a very good yoga teacher. So yoga is basically my the thing that I love the most. But I'm a fitness trainer, so mm -hmm. I train at the gym as well. Uh, to the best of my understanding, yoga is dancing slowly. Not really, no. Mm -hmm. Yoga is uh, mostly mental, like Portia was saying, because you need mental fitness. And also, people, when people come to the gym and they're like, oh, you know, yoga is just stretching, and then we get into the studio, and then we took a to ground. They but, become very different. But how does that help you when in danger? Because as far as I'm concerned, you go to the gym mm -hmm. for protection. Uh -huh. So how does yoga help you when in danger? Okay, and I'll pick one get out. No, 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 no. You don't, we don't go to the gym for protection, but also doing yoga is a lot of body weight. Like 
in one yoga class, we can do like 100 push-ups. Just 100 push-ups, just casually. And you're able to do headstand, you can stand on your head. So that's a strong pass on your core, it's very strong. So also, and I also go, I train at the gym, I lift weights. So I like to say my bicep is very strong as well. So if I hit you, I may not be a boxer, yeah? I may not know how to hit you, but if I hit you, Nikikupata vizuri, you'll feel it and I'll mm. just run away. So. Uko, uko kwa relationship? <laughs> yes. Okay, so ukipiga uo mse wako lock hatuki yapo. <laughs> That's what you mean by the bicep. I am a talker. <laughs> Kai. Aya, na as far as self-defense is concerned, right? You're just, I, let me clarify this. You're doing boxing for sport, ama you're doing it for self-defense? Both. Both. Fitness and self-defense is a good benefit. Has well. it ever come through for you as far as self-defense is concerned? Not yet, luckily. Ah, but, okay, okay, okay. But okay. I'm ready. Yes? I'm ready. If You're ready? Just if necessary. J Jamil can, can probably help you answer this, right? As far as training is concerned, if I have a grace period, <coughs> if, let's say Mutu Ameniweke are wanted, I mean, I'm the next six weeks to see Onani now. Can I get enough training to deal with that situation? Can I explain in Kiswahili? Maybe you'll understand. When you're what training, you <laughs> when you're training, first of all, you kill the fear in you. Like so many things happen in this world is because you're scared. No, no. Ata ile moto moto imekuja umebabaika. Namlango ikuapa. Instead of heading, komlango unarudi nyuma. So when you train, you kill all this fear. And that's why I told you, when you attack me, ukiwa na weapon, I'll think, na nijue awa tu wakwa tatu. So nijue au kengori kofi memtosha. Another one take You see? So you kill that fear. <laughs> that fear. <laughs> you kill that fear. And that's what she's trying to tell you, like, I'm ready. So the fear is gone. Right now, ukisimama hapa umambie, I want to beat you. You cannot. I can bet. Bona pay a coffee. But, <laughs> but, but yeah, let's do let's do, let's do a demo because probably some people would not understand, Ama would not understand. We probably need think Ama Wasewengi would think that you need to go to the gym first, uh, get the, the 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 muscles, then you can start boxing. Right? Would you kindly show us a demonstration of uh, <laughs> two, three, four. Give me two, two, three, three, two right. To right, to dark. Give me a jab, jab, right, 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 two, two, two. Try that. Aya. Give me a jab. Give me, a, give me a jab. Give me a jab. One, two, one. One, 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 one. Short commercial break. We are going on a short commercial break. We'll be right back with more. Uh, before the break, we are going to talk about the YTTO. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Things are thick. Things are thick. So, uh, we, uh, welcome back to the show. Uh, my name is Dr. Kingori. The show uh, tonight is about uh, physical fitness. Uh, we'd like to go deep into nutrition, uh, the kind of exercises you can actually do without going to the gym. And please help me welcome our guest once again. Asante sana. Uh, uh, to my immediate right is Portia Rosemary, uh, who is a photographer, and she's actually doing a, currently doing a climate change uh, project. She will tell us more about her photography work and where you can find it. Uh, to, uh, next to her, her neighbor, immediate neighbor, and trainer, the part-time trainer who holds fort when I'm not uh, around, uh, my friend Jamil Zafa. <laughs> Asante sana. Asante sana. And now for the ladies, representation as far as fitness is concerned, ah, my friend Michelle Mulala. Asante sana. Michelle, just straight to the point. Yes. Are there any exercises that one can do without necessarily going to the gym, without necessarily feeling like they're being punished? Yes. Uh -huh. You can do bodyweight workouts at home. Also okay. chose the workouts. Uh, you can walk in the estate. You can skip rope. You can hula hoop. 
And you can also buy a dance CD or go on YouTube. There are so many body weight workouts on YouTube and you can just do that like there are 10, 10 minute workouts, okay. 20 minutes, but then just keep progressing with your workout. So if you start with 10 minutes and then it gets easy, just yes. find another 20 minute workout. Just make sure you're putting in the work. Okay. Yes. And uh, you have to follow specific instructions. Ama, you, you can just buy, when you say a dance CD, mm -hmm. any music, because I'm trying to factor in twerking. Yes, twerking is a workout actually. Twerking yes. is a workout. It, when you twerk, your back is hurting, your hurting. So it's it's a it's a workout. So if that's what you want and that's what works for you, just find something that you really enjoy doing. Okay. Just don't find something and then you you be bored in a, in two days. Just so, find something that you really like. Okay. Now that twerking is a is a is a is that twerking is also a workout. Mm -hmm. The muscle that you're working on right then is the is the is the stick. Is the gluteus maximus and the minimus and your lower back. You may see a gluteus. I'm aware about it. <laughs> oh, you know gluteus? <laughs> I'm, I'm a disc trainer as well. <laughs> Whatever she does, I did. I do spinning, aerobics, yoga, taibo. Ah, and as far as food is concerned. Yes. Food is concerned. You, you've always actually incited me about uh, CG, a meal timetable, uh, what you eat, as in uh, your diet accounts for 70% of your body's type. What does that mean exactly? Uh, what I was trying to say is, I'll uh, just start like this. Number one, we need, a lot of people will be told like, you need to have carbs and whatever, they'll go for rice. Then, instead of this portion of rice, people have this portion of rice. Because you've been told, go for rice. No. Then, another mistake people do, you need to chew your food and respect that eating moment. It's very important. Two things you're supposed to respect. Toilet, eating moment. <laughs> because you see, when you don't chew your food well, then you'll suffer in the toilet. <laughs> you need to chew, even that rice, you need to take time and chew it proper. Another thing, you eat, take water. You eat, take soda. You eat, take juice. You'll never find the benefit of that food. All of it is gone. Mm -hmm. You see, you need to eat, take time, and relax. After eating, you need to take time. Not you've eaten, nango jewa. No, 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 no. Like when you go for a date, you take your sweet time, you relax. You relax, you wait. Why not yourself? Okay. Yeah. So if you're busy and you actually need to chew your food, you don't have the time to chew, you can blend the food. <laughs> <laughs> if it's that important, that is. There's a difference between drinking and chewing. Saliva is very important. That saliva operates in a different way in your stomach. Okay. Yeah. So when you're drinking, you swallow less saliva than chewing. What does your diet look like, Portia? Mine looks like oatmeal to start the day. Oatmeal? Yep. Okay. <laughs> um, then some sort of snack midday. Then Some snack in the day. Mm -hmm. okay. And then lunches, <laughs> rice, some sort of protein, lots of vegetables, mm -hmm. uh, another snack, then oatmeal if I go train because it digests quickly, and then a big meal at the end of the day. A big meal in the end of the day. Nabado atapiga mtu amekula ugali. How? Yeah, training, it's what makes you do what you can do. You see, it's not about eating. Okay. You see, eating Making is just, you do yeah. what you can do. Yes. Like the way she said, if you follow her diet, then you die. Because she's training hard. So everything that she takes, even if she decides to take chips right now, when she hit the gym, it's out. For you, when you eat chips, what next? The chair. This is the mistake. You sit in the office, you sit in the car driving home, then the parking is just right outside of your gate. You enter like this, the first seat, you sit and remove your shoes while sitting. This is what kills people. Tell me the day that you've just walked from here to around Mombasa Road, just walking. <laughs> me? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I think I have paid my price. I, I, in 2010, I used to walk from Kayole to Safari Park. I believe that's exercise enough. 
that is there is there a time michelle yes. uh, that you can say that you are fit for life as in you have done enough gym like i say in 2010 i exercised no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. fitness should be a lifestyle the, the fitness you gained in 2010 does not count now it's all gone now you have nothing which fitness <laughs> Why? Because Porsche up and me watch No, no, no. which fitness you say 2010? <laughs> no, you see for example, that means I'm a gentleman. Don't judge me by what you just said. 2010. <laughs> yes, sorry, Ama. What are we taught? Yes. Never hurt a lady. Right? Studio. <laughs> <laughs> 2010 you were walking. Yes. That's a different body part. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle, yes. there's nothing you can do at Isesa Ukwe, your, your feet, your, your good to go Uko. No, you have to make it a lifestyle. You have to exercise as much as you can all year round. You can take rest days or but, you can take a month off, but then you get back to it. But every punishment has to have an end. It's not a punishment. Not a punishment. You should not take it as a punishment because you're taking care of yourself. You should love enough, yourself enough to take care of yourself. Because if you're not healthy, what will you do? You will be sleeping in your house. And then your money goes to the hospital, and then you probably your wife sleeps, your wife leaves you. And, and I think yeah. a, a curious question: mm -hmm. Is there hope for every fat person out there? Yes, there is. What's the hope? You just, just. I watched. Out. I'm asking because I watched Slim Impossible. Uh huh. You exercise for the whole duration of the show, and then you win and become fat again. As in, is there hope? The, 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 thing is, the thing is, people go on these crash diets where yeah. someone just stops eating carbs completely and then they lose a ton of weight and a ton of water and then they think, oh, that's it, and then they go back to how they used to live. What I like to say, it's many people go say, I, I'm not eating carbs. That's a stupid thing to do because you need carbs. So I just say, eat a balanced diet, just watch your portions and work out. Just just walk out. It's not that hard. Just walk. Skip rope. What do you mean portions? Like the rule ya kukula ni ushibe. What is portions? No. <laughs> <laughs> when, when, when you eat so much food, where is that all that? Because everyone has a basal metab metabolism rate, whatever you, the amount of calories your body needs at resting. Yeah? So your body, you need a certain amount of calories. So if you eat, if your calorie intake should be 2,000, when you eat 5,000 calories, where does this 2,000 go to? Yeah, you need to account, or account for everything that you take if you're trying to lose weight. If you're trying to maintain weight, you need to take your, cal your calories seriously, whatever it is that you're taking. You need to eat your food. You need to work out. Just make sure you're sticking to your calorie requirements and eat healthy food. So to be fit, you also need to be good in mathematics. <laughs> what time does anyone have you, if you go to a restaurant you have to say uh, you have to talk about uh, 5000 minus 2000 calories okay is in takula jioni no no no. <laughs> no 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 that's not how it works like i personally know what what like each when, when something is consistent like you i know if i eat this much rice I know this is like 100 grams of rice. I know that is about 250 calories. Oh, unapima na Yeah, yes. So <laughs> over time, over time you learn how to measure things with your eyes. You just know this this is good enough. So yes. over time you just need to teach yourself. Kama unakulanga sana punguza mwendo, punguza kamba. So so ukikula ukikula unajiambia a calories zimefika mwisho, I stop there. Yes. <laughs> For it, as in that's, that's how you eat yourself? Not really, no. I, I'd like to say I eat for lifestyle. I don't eat for trying to lose weight, like trying to look a certain way. I eat what I want, but also I don't eat badly. So I've made eating healthy my lifestyle. So it's not a big hassle for me what I eat. So I just know if in the morning I eat yes. two eggs and maybe two slices uh, two of bread. Two eggs? <laughs> okay, two eggs. Yes, so, so over time, whatever it is that you eat, your body gets used to it. Your stomach shrinks, not in a bad way. Like your body just gets used to it, to whatever it is, to eating whatever small portions that it is that you're eating. What I need to explain, especially, what you need to understand, every human being, their stomach is this size, like a fist, mm -hmm. All right? Uh, the way she said, yeah? So when your stomach is this size, politicians, 
<laughs> when your stomach is this size, it can accommodate anything according to you. Okay, not you, but yeah. <laughs> so, if you teach your stomach to take a whole loaf, it will be like accommodating that or loaf. <laughs> Okay? okay? If you teach your stomach to maintain four slices, your stomach, it will reduce to that portion. Okay? So it's just a practice that you're going to do every day. I myself, if you can see I'm building up, I cannot take more than three slices. I cannot. Or oh, oh, oh. he means in public. People know. Even in the gym, people know I cannot eat more than one chapati. Yeah, I have a lot of people around me. They know. You see. It's true, by the way. Yes. You cannot eat more than one chapati. I cannot. You cannot eat more than three slices. Three slices. Okay. You cannot eat more than a quarter chicken. A quarter chicken. You cannot eat more than a hundred grams of rice. A hundred grams of rice. What else? And sir, what else can you not eat more than meat? Meat. I don't have, I don't take meat at all. You don't take meat at all? Yeah. Okay, he's talking about in one plate. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Those are different meals. Yes. Yeah, breakfast, lunch, supper. To, to sum this up, I hope we could, uh, we could extend it further because we've not talked about self-defense, na your story, your bodyguards and stuff, how much you'll be paid to give your life for someone else. I really would love to know that information. But uh, in the interest of time, I think we'll start with Portia. So, no, Portia, uh, one word uh, of advice as far as fitness is concerned, self-defense, and then where can people get uh, your photography material? One word. Um, self-defense and fitness, keep it up. Don't be disheartened if it's hard at first because it gets easier. Okay. And you can find my photography on Instagram at Portia May and the P O R T I A M A A E. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. I don't want to target anyone. Don't please. target anyone. Atujataja mtu, just advise <laughs> him. A specific person. Uh, so just that advise means him. Just advise him. <laughs> <laughs> just, just advise him. Ah. Uh, what He's in like showbiz. He's a friend. He will yeah. understand. <laughs> what, more advice. <laughs> what I like to say is like uh, training should be a lifestyle. For example, when you buy a land, you dream to build. When you dream to build, you dream to live in it forever. You don't buy a house, build and demolish it. Nobody does that. So fitness should be your house. Buy a land. All right, build it, live in it forever. Should be your lifestyle. And I have a gift for you. It's a book, it's a charger, and it has a memory card. Okay, it has my logo, which is Jamil Zafa, and his name. As, uh, ah, wow, you thank, you. thank you. Just a you can charge your phone with this, by the way. I can charge the phone Three with phones. my book. Three phones. Yeah, with this. With my book. Yes. Just open inside. <laughs> you see, more than three, in fact. Ah, nice. <laughs> um, Michelle, a uh, word of advice, especially as far as fitness is concerned, for ladies, for example, this is an area where esteem in a Kanyagwa sana, 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 sana. Mm -hmm. Please. Okay. Uh, when you work out, your self esteem goes up. You're co more confident, you're able to just stand in front of people and say, This is who I am. Because you already, you, are, you know, you put in the work. So just work out. It's okay if you're, you think you can't lose weight. Don't work out to lose weight, work out to be healthy. And it's also okay if you feel like you're too skinny, just work out to be healthy. You don't want to catch, to get lifestyle diseases because you're not taking care of yourself. Eat healthy. Yes. And you can find me on Instagram at Mulala Michelle. That is okay. M I T C H E W -L, L. Okay. Uh, Jamal, where can people find you? Uh, you can find me at uh, Jamil Zafa, Instagram as well. That the logo you'll see there. Okay. Yeah. Now, what's my coffee?
thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. I love you before. Uh, before I let you go, uh, I'd like to give a warm shout out to our little fans, our young fans, Wa Mombasa. I met these two uh, beautiful angels in Mombasa while I was uh, be, uh, while, while I was emceeing the Coast Edition of uh, Reality and Homes Expo uh, by Nation Media Group. When I to Ellie and uh, Nani, Ellie and uh, Lydia. Wayang sana, they were swimming, naninin, and they were very, very excited. And we were with you in Mombasa, Jamil. Yes. Tuliku wanae Mombasa pale Wild Waters. Yes. That's why I met Ellie and Lydia. Shout out to you and thank you for always tuning in and watching the show. And uh, that said, also this weekend, Maze, kuna mishoni, kuna mishoni, kuna mishoni, kuna plot. Uh, let's make time. Let's make time to end uh, Heart Strings Entertainment. They have a play at the Nairobi Cinema. Uh, it starts uh, from 7 p.m., in fact, from today, Imeanza Leo, running all through the weekend, uh, Saturday and Sunday. The play is a uh, Fish Out of Water. It's been directed by the legendary uh, Sami Mwangi. Ama ukipenda governor Sami Mwangi. Make time, make time, make time. Go watch the play, go watch the play. Uh, Nairobi Cinema iko Hapa Town. Next to, uh, next to uh, Uchumi House. In fact, it's in Uchumi House. That's where I did my, my stand-up comedy special earlier this year. It's a very, very comfortable uh, place. And then in Tese. And Hat Sings, our Kwangi. That's where I actually started by performing stand up mostly. Not started, but that's where I performed most of the time as far as live performances are concerned. So I hope to see you there, Amazi. Asante ni sana, but uh, thank you most, most importantly for joining us on the show tonight. That's it for the weekend edition tonight. See you next week. My name is Dr. Kingori. <laughs>